okay uh, welcome to the part 4 of our tutorial and in this video uh, let's open the 3d modeling cupcake part part 4 dot max and i have here my original object that i use in this photo it's because that i want the form of this object more than the object that i created in our uh, in the previous part of this tutorial of course and let's just open this uh, file so that we have the same sizes of this object okay and now in this video we are going to focus and create uh, the cherry fruit and put it above the icing okay now let's uh, go to create tab and under create tab geometry group click the spear object and click and drag over here okay and now press w for move tool and move this up above here okay and with this uh, spear selected go to modifier tab and i'm gonna change the color to uh, gray and let's try uh, different settings at the radius okay so maybe that this the, this this is just uh, the right uh, sizes okay and uh, in segments let's give it a just an uh, only uh, uh, 12 only okay and let's focus on this uh, object alone so let's enter into isolate selection okay now uh, let's go on the more other modifier list and uh, we have to apply f f f d four times four times four now uh, go back to uh, uh, no uh, let's go to uh, top view press letter t zoom in and expand this and activate the control point so that we can select those control points hold the control key and select these control points press letter r and hover your mouse cursor at this part of this gizmo and make sure that the y and x axis is the only axis that is highlighted in yellow okay and click and drag that uh, uh that gizmo uh, at this part click and drag okay yes so that uh, so uh, we uh, we can give it a uh, this shape because I don't want this uh, object to be a perfectly spear shape. Okay, just scale a bit. Go to front view, press letter Z to zoom in directly to the object. Okay, so select these uh, control points and scale it up. Okay, now. Uh, Select this, press W, move it down, move up, okay. Now press letter P to go back to perspective view and deactivate this one, minimize and apply an edit poly modifier. And of course, all of the modifiers are located in modifier list and look for edit poly modifier. If you cannot see modifiers, uh, if you cannot see uh, quick access, in this uh using these buttons okay so i'm gonna just click edit poly mod modifier and uh, we have uh, another uh, new layers in here expand that and i want you to practice the shortcut keys uh, for these different uh modes so that we can quickly uh, edit this object okay so you just have to press one two three four five in your key uh, uh in your keyboard one for vertex, two for edge, three for border, four for polygon, and five for element. Okay. Now press number one. So just for uh, no, let's just focus on edge. Press number two, and double click this modeling. Expand that uh, modeling tab. And if you cannot see that modeling tabs, just right click in here and click this ribbon, and it will show up those tabs. Okay. And now under modeling tab let's use a uh, swift loop and i'm gonna add additional segments over here click over here and here okay and if you are done just right click at the uh, empty space to uh, exit the swift loop mode and double click this edges press letter r move tool for scale tool scale it down okay Press double uh, press number one to enter a vertex mode. Select that vertex. Press W for move tool. Move it down. Okay. Now over here, press number two to enter to edge mode. 
double click that edge press letter R for scale tool and scale it down okay press W to move it down slightly press number one to, to enter vertex mode select that vertex and move it up okay now uh, let's add uh, a stem above this uh, cherry fruit okay now uh, click the shift lock and add, add additional segments over here okay right click at the empty space to exit the swift top double click these uh, segments press letter R to scale for scale tool scale it down press W to move down now right click and split okay now press letter 5 a uh, number 5 to go to element mode so that we can select this element press delete press uh, number 3 to to enter into a border mode and select that border okay press letter F to go to front view now using the move tool pre uh, keep on pressing the shift key and move this up so around this uh, this far okay now uh, let's go to perspective view and uh, using the swift flop once more let's add additional segments over here think here here and here okay all right and right click to if you are finished now press number one to enter in the vertex mode select that vertices press letter R for scale tool and scale it down scale it down okay Select that, press letter Z to directly zoom in into your selected element. Select that, scale it down. And deselect, press letter Z. Okay, zoom in, press F3. Select that vertices and make sure that you don't select uh, the other uh, vertex at the back of your uh, object and hold the Alt key to deselect that uh, unnecessary uh, vertex okay press letter z to zoom in press f3 zoom out a bit scale zoom out a bit okay all right now uh, press number two to enter edge mode double click these edges and i'm gonna use chamfer so we have here a chamfer mode click that set box settings or just right click over here and choose chamfer box settings okay okay and try to uh, adjust this uh, adjustment arrow by dragging dust one or just enter a numerical value in it 0 0.015 0 0.15 I mean okay and put a numerical value of 2 over here to add additional segments at the center of this chamfer number 2 and check uh, press check All right now enter into vertex mode select that vertex above press letter Z to zoom in directly to your selected uh, element now press uh, number three on your keyboard to select the border or hole now uh, make sure that you are in the uh, scale tool uh, keep on pressing the shift key okay and while holding the shift key let's uh, scale it down scale it down press w for move tool pull it down press letter r hold the shift key scale press W move it down okay press letter R scale it down right click and cap and that cap uh, cap tool we also have in, in here under edit border mode just cap okay press number four to enter a vertex mode so that we can select this vertex and with this vertex selected let's go under the group of uh, edit geometry and I'm gonna use tessellate Choose that set box settings for tessellate. Okay. 
and uh, with this uh, drop down arrow click that and choose polygon and that will fix the edges okay and check now uh, let's enter into a uh, edge mode and select random edges press W to move it in the different direction select that press control key to uh, select multiple uh, edges go to vertex select the vertex pull it out all right now uh, let's uh, go to edge mode double click these edges right click and I'm going to use chamfer box settings okay and in chamfer box settings uh, let's just uh, make sure that uh, you have type a value of number two in here and let's uh, give it a smaller distance around 0 0.02 So I'm going to click this uh, down arrow until it gives a smaller distance between this chamber. Okay, and that's it. Uh, or you may type 0 0.001 and press check. Alright, now uh, let's go to front view. And in front view, let's go to vertex mode. Select that vertice, vertices. Press letter E for uh, scale. Uh, Rotate tool, rotate that, press W, and move over here. Okay. Alright, now, uh, if you are done, uh, let's go to perspective view. And in perspective view, let's enter into an edge mode. And select these edges. Press the control key and select the other edges. Okay. This one, this one, and this one. Okay. Select that for edges. Okay. And with the move tool, let's uh, pull this down. Okay. So I think that should be enough. And of course, uh, I want to adjust this further. Select that. move down right okay and if you're done let's uh, exit into uh, editing in here by unhighlighting this one minimize and apply a turbo smooth modifier above that object and increase the iteration to uh, give it a smoother uh, surface okay and deselect press f4 and check if everything looks good to you okay and if it's not just reselect the once more the object and go back into editing over here and uh, as you can see that even if you highlighted the edit poly modifier uh, you won't see the uh, actual look of this edit poly, poly modifier anymore that's because the show end result is turned off and with this button turned on uh, be, that, that's because the show end result is turned on and with this button turned on it will show the uh, latest modifier that uh, we just applied into our object which is the turbo smooth modifier so we have to turn this show end result and that's it okay and uh, do a further editing in here okay and now I'm gonna deselect this one and exit isolate selection and uh, place it properly above our uh, icing okay deselect all right now in the next video we're going to create a tiny drop drops of uh, heart shapes and put it along the surface of the icing okay so that's it and see you in the next video